I have shown many weird rolling objects on this channel and I thought we had seen all there is, but I was wrong. This is the Anti-Oloid, a modification of the Oloid I demonstrated last year. That's right guys, it's weird shape time again. Let's get started. These metal anti-oloids come to me courtesy of Matter Collection, the same team behind the metal objects of Constant Width Kickstarter, and they're back at it again with this gorgeous form. With its sweeping curves and hollow form, it looks so incredibly alien. I absolutely love it. And just like other objects in this series, the anti-oloid can roll smoothly with a perfect center of mass. But how? Some of you might be thinking Mobius strip, but no, this shape has two distinct surfaces, unlike the single surface in a Mobius strip. But despite its incredibly exotic look, creating the anti-oloid is easier than you might think. But first, let's recap to see how a traditional oloid is created. The three-dimensional curved geometric object discovered by Paul Schatz in 1929. The basic principle is two discs connected at right angles to each other, as demonstrated by this oloid wobbler created by Wild Rose Builds. But to create a more full oloid form, you need to draw an arc and line, which then becomes coincident with another arc and line at right angles to the first. Using lofts, you can seamlessly connect these two and then mirror the resulting surface twice, leaving you with a solid oloid. But what about this anti-oloid? Well, again, we can use two circles with their center points coincident to the edges at right angles, but from here, you can loft the two surfaces and suddenly, as if by magic, the anti-oloid is created. If you're interested in learning how to model in 3D, by the way, or what the heck a loft even means, I have a full free CAD for Newbies series here on YouTube to teach you the basics of Fusion 360. What's really neat is you can mix and match the approaches too. I particularly like the look of this half and half version. It's half a wobbler like the Wild Rose version, but also half a lofted surface like the anti oloid I printed this in silver PLA on the Sidewinder X1, and even though it had heaps of support material, it pulled away pretty damn cleanly. And yes, it also rolls really smooth. Now, while the metal anti oloids provided by Matter Collection are absolutely stunning, they're just a little bit small. So let's scale things up a little bit. They were kind enough to provide the step model which I brought into Fusion 360 and made a lot larger. This huge anti oloid was split in two halves and printed on the Sidewinder X1 3D printer. I printed it using Polyarchme FX PLA. However, sadly, I ran out towards the end, so I swapped to this gorgeous Polyarchme Elixir Gold towards the end. It looks like it's been dipped in gold. Links to these filaments, by the way, are in the video description. All it took to finish was a little delicate assembly, and we're good to go. And that's an ice cream truck driving past. And there you have it, the anti oloid printed huge. Does it have a practical application? No, not really. Does it look awesome? Yes. Yes, it does. If you want to get one of these metal anti oloids you can back their campaign in the video description. However, I do warn you that Kickstarters can go wrong and I'm not responsible for any delays or total failures, which are technically possible. It's, you know, it's Kickstarter. But in respect to their campaign, I won't be uploading a direct copy of the anti oloid for you to print at home, but I've added my half and half experiment which I'm gonna to add to my existing Weird Rolling Objects STL pack if you'd like to try it out. And if you enjoyed this video, then maybe consider subscribing because here on Makers Muse, it's my aim to empower your creativity, goodbye, through technology, and I look, and I look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Catch you later, guys. Bye.